Macros. Welcome to lesson on macros provided within eSurvey Lisps. While working with AutoCAD, if you wish to save drawing editing time, it is better to use command shortcuts instead of icons. eSurvey Lisps features over 50 macros that have been included after an extensive research which suits while working with survey drawings. In macro section, eSurvey Lisps offer macros for majority of frequently used commands. 1. Select You select entities regularly while working in CAD. Entity selection can be made faster with these macros. 2. Line type Set line type of selected entity easily. 3. Units To change units, quickly use these macros. 4. Zoom Zoom function makes drawing editing handy. Following shortcuts helps you to quickly zoom the drawing in a variety of ways. 5. Miscellaneous ELT Erase last drawn entity OSO Turn off O snap QY Exit drawing without saving BRK Break line at given point BN Display block name of selected entity LDXF List DXF details of a selected entity UB Undo back for any list from eSurvey. 6. Layer BY Set the bilayer property of the entities. LSET Set the layer of entity picked. LC Change layer of selected entities to current layer. DSL Delete the objects of the selected entities layer. QL Quickly create a new layer. MCL Set specified layer as current layer. RN Rename layer. 7. Layer on and off. Macros for switching layer on off status in a variety of methods. 8. Layer freeze and thaw. Macros for switching layer freeze thaw status in a variety of methods. 9. Layer lock and unlock. Macros for switching layer lock unlock status in a variety of methods. In the next section, I will conclude this course after summarizing things we have learned so far.